shared an apology to her children, physically and emotionally abusing them before a judge sentenced her to up to 60 years in prison. Hildebrandt also received up to 60 years in prison. Both were charged with four counts of aggravated child abuse for trying to convince Frank's two youngest children they were evil, possessed, and needed to be punished to repent. Ruby Frank and Jody Hildebrandt have been sentenced to four consecutive 1 to 15 year prison sentences. This all starts off in August of 2023, where Ruby Frank's 12 year old son ran from the Hildebrandt home and looked for help from a neighbor and appeared malnourished. He was also duct taped on both his hands and his ankles, and there was injuries in those same areas as well. Now, because of this, police had also raided Hildebrandt's home and found Ruby Frank's daughter in the same condition. Now, the plea agreement is the interesting part of all of this, and let me just go ahead and read out what the counts were. Count one, aggravated child abuse, a second degree felony. Count three, aggravated child abuse, a second degree felony. Count five, aggravated child abuse, a second degree felony. And count six, aggravated child abuse, second degree felony. The reason I read that out is that those are the counts that she agreed to be guilty to, while count two and count four were immediately dropped. As for her to testify truthfully against Jody Hildebrandt. What the actual hell. Honestly, what the actual hell. I don't understand where to even start with this. I know I just started reading out all the facts, but really duct taping kids, malnourishment, and then thinking that this is okay is preposterous to say the least. The reason why the plea agreement was there in the first place was to blame Jody Hildebrandt or whatever the hell her name is for teaching Ruby that her kids were evil. Like what kind of satanic cult shit is this? I really don't get it. It's honestly disgusting. This is a horrible, horrible topic to cover because not only did these kids suffer, not only did they have to go through everything, they had to do this for a paycheck, they had to do this for internet clout. Why? Why? It's so infuriating to just think that there are people like this out in the world wanting to go ahead and do this to their children just for what? YouTube is not a job, no matter how far you take it. No matter how famous you get, you do not at any point subject your kids to do to this. This is a daddy 05 situation again, but also just worse in so many other ways. And truthfully speaking, this is something we as a YouTube community are going to have to remember and we're going to be beholden to. And unfortunately, those kids will not be able to get those years back. Those kids will have to live with those trauma. Those kids are going to have to cope with that. Look, there's not much to say about this case. I'm not going to go ahead and pad this for time because I'm already infuriated as is. And I just needed everyone to know like, hey, they're sentenced. It's all said and done. And if you're still watching and you're still listening to me, just let the kids live, live whatever life that they have. It's very bad enough that their mom went full on psycho. It's very bad enough that they now have to live without a mom. And now the internet should not be going ahead and like really hammering on them all too much. They have enough shit to deal with as this. Anyways, with that being said, if you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. And practically, this is super depressing. I'm out. See ya. Bye.